Hey children, today, we will be going to the Boston Art Museum. You will get to see a lot of classical art from hundreds of years ago. And we will take a tour with a tour guide there. So we expect you guys to be on your best behavior. And when we are there, do not touch any of the art as it is very fragile. Understood? Yes, Daddy. Very well, let's get a going. Here we are fam, Boston Art Museum. Ah, you can just smell the history. Smells more like, you're in around here. You, it smells like the boys locker room at school here. Everybody, do you have no respect for the arts? Also, Caillou, that's one strike for disrespecting history. Two more and you'll be grounded. But mommy said it smells like urine too. Well mommy's a grown up, she can't get strikes, but she can indeed shut her dumb broad mouth up. It's about to smell like blood in a few seconds. Hee <laughs> hee, uh, well, anyway, let's try to examine the arts closer. What do you see? Um, white stuff on statue. Okay, and what white stuff? Bird poop. What? He's serious. Bird poop. Did you know that birds poop and pee at the same time? That's how it gets good be like that. <laughs> We're here to learn history and respect the arts, not talk about bird poop. <sighs> Let's just get inside, get away from this free bum canvas over here. Wow, it's wonderful looking in here. Look at all these paintings and statues. I don't know where to start. I wonder where our tour guide is. Hello there folks. I will be your tour guide today. My name is Sia Diakite. Wait, you're our tour guide? Um, I don't mean to be rude, but, how the heck can you do the tour when you don't have- I s- Hee hee, it's okay. I get that a lot. No no I've worked here a good few years. I just walk people to the areas and let their reaction tell me otherwise. Come with me. You will love it around here. Well, alright then, this should be interesting. First we'll start through the modern art section and get older. This is all the art created by non-talented baby boomers and Gen X heirs after photography became more widespread. Things such as kitty drawings, puke on canvas and writing words such as poop is classified as art. Pretty mediocre in my opinion. Hi 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 ha, it says poop on the picture. Yes, you see we that see it mommy and you. daddy. Why is any of this displayed on the art gallery? Well, anything can really be considered art. Even if it is considered bad by most people. Anything? Why yes, anything. A simple dot can represent something big if you use your imagination. Oh really? Like this? Caillou, what are you doing? I can't believe it. I... I can see. I can see all the beautiful colors. I can see what people look like. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. I can see art to its fullest. Wow, I gotta say Caillou, I didn't expect your art to come to life so quick. I'm very impressed. I can't wait to see all the other art in full color. And here it is what the persistence of memory clock painting looks like. I'll leave my input aside. Hee hee ha ha hee hee ha ha. I can see. It looks a lot like the artist was getting quite tired whilst working on this project. As time went by his ideas got more mangled over time. Like this video. Hum. To me, it seems as if time itself started showing age in society. Things he once used to see as vibrant and colorful, turn, to a rather dreary mess. I see a horsey. Ha 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 ha. That's pretty funny Rosie. What about you Caillou? What do you see? 
a miserable mess. I think the painting needs improving. I can improve it by drawing more clocks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up there, Picasso. What is it, Daddy? You can't just change known or unknown art to the way you feel like. It ruins the original thought of the creator. But when I drew eyes on Sadai Akite, his vision came to life. Yes, in an unexpected fluke it did, but realistically, other than that instance, it can ruin said art. How would you like it, if I took your drawings at home and crumpled them up in a ball? I wouldn't like that because it would be wrecking my art. Exactly, it would, but to the person who crumbled it, they might think they are improving, understand? Yes daddy, I understand. Good. Now let's head this way. I don't think Mr. John Dots is coming back. Oh wow, there it is, Whistler's mother. She looks pretty young looking for the time. Probably about your grandmother's age at the time. She looks like a fat cow. Ha 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 ha, moo moo. That's enough children. Keep that up and you'll receive your second strike. I was just kidding, but what's so special about this? Well, look at the date on the painting underneath it. When does it say it's from? 1871? Oh my, I didn't know it was that old. I figured it was 20 years younger. So 1871, that's about the time your great-great-great-grandmother was born, which was my great-great-grandmother. Back then, they didn't have photographs, so in those times, a painting was the only affordable way of capturing a person's image outside of their mind. And this painting, very well may not be exactly what Whistler's mother looked like. She may have been less attractive, or more attractive. It's basically how the artist, Whistler himself, viewed his mother. Well, let's head this way, there's more stuff over here. I still think I could make her look more attracting, make her eyes look bigger, take off that ugly looking hat, make her legs skinner. Oh, woof, that old paint stinks bad. It? It's making me. Ah, I got, at you. Woof, that was a big sneeze. Huh, what the? Oh, shit, there's phlegm on the woman's face. No problem, I'll fix that. Perfect. Oh. My. Oh this is bad. This is very very bad. Caillou, what are you doing? Nothing daddy, I didn't do it. Well come on then, there's much more to see than Whistler's mother. Um, I'll be there in a minute. I uh. Have to use the bathroom. I have to find paint. I need to repaint the part of Whistler's mother's head. Yes, a janitor closet. There must be paint in here. There's only white paint in here. It will have to do. Okay, paint this head here. Oh god, I did too much. Okay, um, well, I'll do what that art Drewberry guy once said at the Bear Country Fair. Draw a circle here. Draw two circles for eyes. A cone for the nose. And a semi-circle for mouth. Maybe no one will notice. I can't believe it. This is what the blue sky looks like. It's amazing. Amazing I tell you. What on earth is this exhibit? I call it mental patient on cooking. No, don't you understand? It's supposed to be man sees grass for first time. Oh, there you are Caillou. What took you so long? Nothing, I just had to poop, is all. Well, we're about to head out. This trip has been a bit too odd for us. Let us see who got killed tonight on the GNN News. Hello all, I am Little Brian Stelter. 
I'm here at the Boston Museum with Zadiah Kite. What can you tell me what is going on here? Well, as you can see, and I can see thanks to my new eyesight, our famous painting from 1871 has been defaced. I have never actually seen the old painting, but the new one brings on a whole new perspective and vision of an old woman. Bald, distinct features, and with no worry. Now to see what chocolate fudge ice cream looks like. Well, there you have it everyone. A new perspective of a famous art. Well Doris, what say we have a barbecue outside? Care to join me? Um, sure, I guess. Oh, hello daddy, what's up? Daddy, that's my drawing. Daddy wait. Daddy, what have you done to my drawing? I worked on that for three days. Well, just like that whistler's mother to face, I have a new point of view of your drawing, grilling fuel. Dig yeah. in everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, super thanks comment, and share this video, and others of everything PC gaming. Make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you never ever miss a new video.